hey what's up guys it's been a minute since I put a video out um sorry I didn't really have a lot of creativity and it's been finals week and dead week and it's just been pretty busy out here plus you know the whole virus situation that I don't totally want to talk about because I'm pretty sick of hearing about it anyway um being stuck at home I've done a lot of interesting things I drew a couple posters I I raised some new plants we got some grass coming up over here I planted some new plants and I've been spending a lot of time with my cat so it's been pretty nice um clean the house today trying to get this red out of my hair I've got it down to this like mild pink and I'm gonna I'm gonna do an ash color later today to get it back to its blonde anyway I figured because I don't have a ton of ideas and uh, I'm just kind of hanging out at home today let's just have a chat first of all I want to talk about quesadillas so I made a quesadilla yesterday, you know, like on the stove and with tortillas and shredded cheese and some salsa in it and I put butter on the pan and I like sauteed it so it was like nice crispy and stuff and I just want to say that like all of you that think like quesadillas are like that like lazy just like eat when you don't know what else to eat food, I don't think that's true. I think quesadillas are actually like a pretty valuable food. And they're not like a super easy food. Like nine times out of 10 when I make a quesadilla, I burn at least one of the sides. And you wanna get the cheese melted, but not too melted. But you still have to toast both sides. So it's very difficult to like time it correctly. Anyway, I just want you guys to know the quesadillas are not just like some easy food. Like if someone made a quesadilla, they put in some effort. And second of all, I work with middle schoolers for anyone that like doesn't know me. And I'm a coach. I love my job. I've done dance and tumbling and volleyball. Love all of it. I was supposed to do cross country this spring, but um, who knows when school's gonna start again, so we'll see. But I just wanna say, I love middle schoolers, probably because I basically still am a middle schooler, so like I vibe with them. But also, I don't think people appreciate middle schoolers near enough either. Middle school is literally the hardest time in your entire life. And like there's so much happening like middle school is so stressful and like one of these kids cries like once a day it's really hard and we don't appreciate middle schoolers enough and they still walk around with 10 times more energy than us and like we're not middle schoolers are the peak of our existence yet also like they're living the worst time of their lives middle schoolers are are impressive people it's a very unpopular opinion but I don't like dogs I have a dog it lives with my parents and honestly like I like about 2% of dogs if they're really soft and they're really well behaved but like why would anyone ever get a dog when they could get a cat because dogs first of all their hair is always all oily and they just feel gross when you touch them and like they're all slobbery and there is never a well behaved dog like 90% of dogs are not well behaved like they're gonna jump on you and they're gonna lick you and it's gonna be super gross their just like whole existence is loving you, which seems kind of lame. Cats like, cats have an attitude and a personality and to like be on a cat's good side is a serious accomplishment, you know? It's like a real relationship. Having a dog is just like having like a, like a pair of pants, you know? It's just doing what it's supposed to do and that's it, you know? Anyway, I'm just saying, I'm not a dog person, I'm a cat person. I really just wish I was a jellyfish. I think I might be doing something wrong because my favorite things to do are hang out with my cat, teach middle schoolers, they're awesome, and I love like arts and crafts. So why? Why am I a biology major? Like does that make any sense? No. That's something. Yep. So I guess I'm just going to catch up with you guys next week. Um, hopefully I'm going to put out another vi video. As you know, I put out videos every Thursday. That's why there's one coming out this week. I'm so sorry I missed last week. Yeah, stay safe out there, everybody. Get yourself some toilet paper. Anyway, be sure to subscribe down below and like to see me and this fella some more.